difficult to say which looks more of a mess. Uh, sorry, I, I overslept. Well, there's a surprise. Where was it this time? The tavern? <laughs> Either that or the forest. Oh. Yes, that was it. It was the forest. It was, uh, I was collecting herbs, these rare herbs for Gaius. They can only be collected at night. You thought that was more important than my breakfast? No. Just put it down, brother. What is this? It's, uh, um... I'm not sure. It's, uh... And yet you expect me to eat it for breakfast? You know, maybe it's an apple. Marley! What is it, my lord? Find me that dollop head. I have a council session to attend to. Does he expect me to dress myself? Fetch Merlin from his chambers. He's not there. Check the armory. I've done that. And the stables? No sign of him. Where else could he be? You tell me! When did you last see him, my lord? Last night! Chairman. So am I. But I don't feel scared. I feel that this day was foretold that no matter what we face, Arthur, this is the beginning of a new Camelot and you're leading us to it. You're almost like a friend, Merlin. Almost. <laughs> Haven't heard of knocking, Merlin. Sorry. I need to speak to you urgently. What is it? I'll leave you two to talk. You can bring my supper to my chambers and get the horses groomed and fed. After you've mucked out the stables. Then my room needs cleaning. You can polish my armor. Then I want you to take a pair of scissors and trim the grass on the tournament ground to the length of my little finger. Merlin, are you listening to me? What? Yes. Yes. I look forward to that. Cheer up, Merlin. Morgana's home. You know what that means, don't you? No more riding around on your little bottom. You're very quiet. Oh, I'm sorry. What is it? Merlin. It is here that I last saw my father. You never talked about it? Oh, there's not much that I can say. I didn't really know him that well, but I was proud of him. I want him to be proud of me. I can understand that. We should try being in my shoes. It's hard enough while he was alive. Always having to live up to what he expected of me. It's even harder now. I now know what he faced, the decisions he had to make. I tell you, Merlin, don't stop measuring yourself against a man who's dead. He'll never win. I know. He'll always be better than me. What? For a moment there, I thought we had something in common. <laughs> you look happy, Mullen. I am. Good. I feel we've achieved something. Definitely. It's a nice feeling knowing that your father would be proud of you. Mm. You're right. I think I'm missing a toe. I'm missing Camelot. I'm missing my food. I'm missing my bed. 
What are you doing? Settling in for the night. Here, we'll use that. I just want to sleep. Not there, you'll freeze to death. No, well then, you're gonna have to sleep on the other side. What? I will sleep on the left. Merlin, huh? you're breathing. Sorry. I think I'm coming down with something. Indecision. I hope it's not catching. I feel slightly sick. Well, that's marriage for you. Really? Yeah. The thought of spending the whole of your life with someone that's bound to make you feel under the weather. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Oh, my goodness. I've made a bad decision. I didn't say that. I think it's only natural to be nervous in these situations. Nervous? I always get nervous when I make a decision. I start worrying about all the other options and discount it. Right. Princess Elena. Too girly. Princess of Westenberg. Too short. Queen Guinevere. See? There you go. You are doing the right thing. So, when is the big moment? When are you going to ask her? This afternoon. No time like the present. You'll be there should I need you. I will. You will. I'm going to sit by the fire in a hot tub. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. Three more days and we could be home. I'm continuing on to Izmir, alone. No, Arthur! I have to. It's suicide. Which is why you're going back. Arthur, you have no idea what he could face there. No, I made my decision. It's madness! Surely you could see that! This conversation is over. Now I need you to give this to Guinevere. I'm not going back. Merlin! Not without you! You realise our odds are hopeless? Well, at least I'll be doubling them. <laughs> All things I've faced, I've never been worried about dying. Don't think you should now. Sometimes you do puzzle me. You never fathomed me out? No. Well, I always thought if things had been different, we'd have been good friends. Yeah. If you weren't such an arrogant, pompous dollar <laughs> That's what you have to remember. Things never turn out how you expect. You'll see. We'll defeat the Taroka. We will. Together. I appreciate that. This belonged to my mother. Bears her sigil. Take it. <laughs>